welcome back so i wanted to do a little nail art haul it's nothing big but it's actually an early gift of an anniversary from my husband so i wanted to share this with you guys i know this product is from syllaboom so let me go ahead and open this so these are new gel products that syllaboom launched I, I think it's their own gel line that they launched so I really wanted to try their product. Ooh, there's a lot in here. So I know, I think what they were going for, it was like a Pokemon theme or something like that. So um, let's see what I got. They're nicely wrapped, individually wrapped at that. So this is going to take forever. <laughs> and another thing is that they actually have little cards, like trading cards. So this one is called Burnix. Okay. And it comes with the, like a little trading card sleeve. Oh, yeah. And the brand is called Gel Monsta. <laughs> I am vegan. So it is vegan. It's made in Korea. So I like that. I really love Korean products because how clean their ingredients are. So this one is Gel Monster. Let me bring you guys up close. Ooh, that is a pretty color. And I think it's time for me to actually do my nails. So let's go ahead and put that one there. I don't think they were as pricey. I think they were having a sell for their launch. So here is the lilac color. It's like a lavender color. Hold on, let me open this. Again, it comes with a trading card. This one is Tato Tail. It's a pretty lilac color or a lavender color. And this is how the color looks up close. Ooh, that is pretty. It's pretty thick. So I can't wait to see if it's just a one color swipe or two layer. So that one goes there. Ooh, this color is pretty. Let's see. Again, all individually wrapped. I do appreciate that. So this one is called Dream Meow or Dream Meow. Um, this one's like a coral pink. Again, that's how that color looks. It is a pretty color. It's kind of like a pink. Yeah, it's a coral pink. Just like how it says on the trading card. All of them are so cute. <laughs> so here is the a white. So this one is a sparkle. This one's called Sparkle Cake. Obviously, it's a sparkly one. So, uh, I don't know if you guys could capture that, but the actual gel bottle is kind of sparkly. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, this is only 10 grams, so it's a 0 0.35 ounce. Your typical standard. Oh, that is pretty. I like the sparkle. I love glitter gel polishes. I love using this type of gel polish for like a topper on top of colors in general so this one is the base trainer wheel that's what it's called and that's how I, the trading card looks so this one is the base let me see how oh it has a nice consistency not super thin not super thick just in between Okay, let me go ahead and put that there. Oh, okay. So another base. I wonder if he double ordered some of the products. So that's that. And I think he double ordered the top coat. <laughs> I mean, you can never have enough top coats or base gels, to be honest. Or I wonder if they include that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did uh, order two of the base gels and 
two of the top coats. It's okay. I'm happy. Again, let's see the viscosity of the top chill. So, ooh, okay, so it's pretty thick. I don't know if you guys can see that. Not super thick, just in between. I like that consistency. Because sometimes too thick, it just doesn't really apply well. Anyways, so that's that. The same thing for this one. I really like it. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys so you guys can get a closer look of the gel polish. Okay. So the first one that I'm going to swatch is the Raspberry Red, which is Burnix. And I'm going to try to bring you guys up close. So this is how this one applies. Ooh. They look like one coat application. That is pretty color. Oh, that is pretty. This one is Tattletail. Look at that. I feel like with this one, you might need uh, two coats. Neither, I mean, this is still a pretty color. Look at that. How pretty is that color? Dream Meow. <laughs> Such a pretty name. Cute names. Oh yeah. Don't mind the little fuzzies. They're they fell on the ground before I started using them. I tried to clean them as much as I could. That's how that one looks. It's a very pretty pink shade. I'm debating whether to swatch this one just by itself because it's just glitter. And like I said, I would definitely use this as a gel topper. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and swatch, not swatch, but cure them for 30 seconds. And then I'm just gonna apply this one on top. Okay, so now that they're cured i'm gonna go ahead and add the sparkle cape on top just so that i can see how that looks oh i really like that that looks super pretty again this type of glitters or gel glitters are the ones that i like to use for gel topper just to give it that um i feel like it needs the consistency is slight thick. I I prefer a thinner consistency when it comes down to gel glitters. But nonetheless, it still looks pretty. Look at that. So let's go ahead and add it to this beautiful color right here. I think it's gonna show off more on this color. And look how that looks. That looks extremely pretty. Look at that. Look how they look. How they shimmer. Ooh, so pretty. I really am leaning towards this one. I think I might end up doing my nose with this color right here. I'm going to go ahead and cure them for 30 seconds. And then I'm just going to top coat it with their brand just so I can see how shiny they are. So here is how they look all cured. I'm going to go ahead and add the top coat. 
Let me know down below in the comment section which color was your favorite. I feel like Tattletail is my favorite with the combination of Sparkle Cape. Let's go ahead and see how the top gel performs. Oh yeah, it's kind of thick. But I like it because I feel like it levels out the nail if it has 3D or just glitter in general. I think it's going to look nice and not bumpy. So that's how that looks. Let me go ahead and add to this one right here. Look how pretty that looks. The consistency is thick. I was seeing that. It's like more in... I don't know if you guys can see how thick it is it doesn't like droop instantly it's uh, i wish you guys could see that but it doesn't droop so fast so again i feel like you could use this top gel for encapsulation just so the design looks nice and more clean aesthetically pleasing so the top coat i give it between a one to five i would say a four and a half especially since if you're not used to working with thick top gel, um, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you are used to working with thick top gel, I would definitely recommend this one. I am going to use it on myself before I try it on clients because I like to do that just to see how well the product performs on myself. So, yes. That's how they look. It leveled out nice. I like that. There's no streak marks. Oops. But yeah. I like that it leveled out nice. So yay for the top gel. So let me know down below. Again in the comments. Which one is your favorite. Again. Tattletail is my favorite. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you. Until next time. Bye.